Caddis Maximus here. This time we have a general tools. This is not U.S. journal. It's not a Harbor Freight tool, but it is an American-made compact or small precision rule. This is only two bucks on Amazon when I was looking, and so it doesn't break the bank. You actually like buy two of these. Actually, my recommendation is to buy a couple different versions when you're getting these mini rules, these precision compact rules. I guess they'd be called small rules. The general one is okay. It's in sixteenths of, if we could get this to cooperate my focus, this is sixteenths of an inch. Come on now. There we go. So this is in sixteenths of an inch as well as individual uh, millimeter. So it's really not too bad at all. Although what's interesting is that it's more on the core side of precision rules. They also don't print a chart or anything on the back, which is actually pretty common here. I've got uh, an unknown vintage unit here. I've got this old uh, CG tech, which you know, they make machinist cutting tools, so they also have this. I even have a cheap Indian one, and what we'll really notice is the fact that they all have some type of charts on the back, although it seems each rule is different in their idea. The CG tech is a 64 to millimeter. This middle Indian one is uh, 64 to decimal, and then this vintage one has just a huge variety of charts, a decimal equivalents as well as a tap drill sizes which is microscopic. You need a magnifying glass to even read the chart. So that's one thing where the U.S. General is a little bit deficient, and they probably should have charged three or four bucks just so they gave you it. The other reason I recommend getting multiples of these is they're all different. 30 seconds and 64 on this Indian one. The CG Tech is individual uh, millimeters as well as 50ths. This vintage one actually has a variety of different uh, scales on it. We have 16ths, 30 seconds, and then we have like this really fine scale right in the middle at 64. So, and on the metric side, we have individual millimeters above five centimeters, but below five centimeters is actually half millimeters. And so that's where these kind of got the names of precision rules. They're kind of a takeaway from machinist rules. Machinist precision rules, the really thing that distinctifies them is this little rounded corner. Machinist rule is precision thickness, lengths such as six inches here, although all these rules are in different sizes. And this is much cheaper. If you want a precision, say the Starrett, this Starrett here uh, costs, I should say two things. The Starrett has 305 in the model and so is the General, which is a little bit odd. Uh, but the Starrett costs 10 times as much. This is literally a 20 to $25 Starrett versus a $2 US General. There I go, even quoting Harbor Freight, even though General Tools has nothing to do with Harbor Freight. General Tools is hailing out of, uh, which is interesting, New York, New York. I guess that's some someplace somewhere, I'm not sure. Never heard of it before. And Montreal, Canada. Totally kidding about New York, but it's actually uh, pretty rare that you actually see a you know, hand tool company out of New York. So these things are just handy. They're small precision rules when you need to measure short distances. They're used a variety, you know, if you're cutting off steel because, or cutting off any kind of metals where you just need a few inches, you wouldn't use this in woodworking, but uh, fabrication, welding, all sorts of situations where you do use these. They're also known as flexible rules because you can put it flat against the surface and it'll flex enough so you can get a measurement and so you'll be able to hold on to it. That's the purpose of this little rounded spot is so you can get a big long measurement and be able to see right up to the six inch mark. It would be nice if they did had do something like some of those other rules where they had like the first inch or the first few centimeters where they had extra tick marks because, you know, they uh, you shouldn't be afraid of tick marks like on the stair. Once again, we have a side here that's whoop right here, <laughs> the side. Uh, you can even barely see it, but that's actually in hundreds, which is really surprising. So U.S. General, although it's a little bit more expensive when you have manufacturing and dyes that have really fine detail work, um, then they wear out faster and more expensive. These are roll press, so if I can just get this, maybe, yeah, there you go. You can just see that this isn't simply silk screened. Then that's one of the other things that sets these rules apart. Is this is physically stamped. All the tick marks and numbers are physically stamped into it and then colored or silk screened. So the tick marks and stuff are much more durable and they don't wear out. So anyway, that was my little video about uh, this general, <laughs> U.S. general uh, precision small rule, or I should say small precision rule. 
not to be confused with a general machinist rule or small precision rule, but they're still pretty handy and it's actually kind of uh, nice to see that US General is, or I keep on saying that, it's so hard, I've been, so I don't go to Harbor Freight anymore, uh, that the General Tool Company is still uh, making some American made products. And even showing uh, they don't have to be expensive, although this is something that should be more expensive. It's really deficient. They should have put something on the backside, either another set of group of measurements, maybe finer graduations, or at least a chart. So that would be my biggest criticism. But for two bucks, you know, you buy a couple, three of them because they always seem to get damaged. And it's always handy when you need to do uh, some precision work. You'll find that like architects building models and hobbyists and stuff, you know, people who build model airplanes really love these rules or any type of uh, assemble models. Just because you want to do things just right and have them be symmetrical, so you really need to get some precision me measurements, and these are really the uh, the most cost-effective way. And the fact that uh, if you really hunt around, you can get a rule that has just the types of graduations and scales that uh, fit you. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.